Well, we didn't make it to Little Rock, Arkansas. We made it just inside Arkansas. Uh, I think it's, I think this is West Memphis still. And so we stopped at a Super 8. We just, we didn't have it in us anymore. I could have gone further, but he was done. Um, he couldn't handle any more driving. We had already stopped to nap twice, and it was 2 o'clock in the morning, and we said, okay, that's it. We're just going to get whatever place we can find. And we got the Super 8. And um, I'm rearranging the end of the trip now, since we still have about 13 hours of driving. So if we were to try to make our last stop Amarillo, Texas, that would be um, 11 hours driving. No. So now we're going to go to a place in Oklahoma, you know, about roughly seven hours away. And um, since our last day was only a four hour drive, I could now add that time to the last day. And it's also a reasonable six or seven hours. So we have two days left still at a more reasonable seven hours a day. Um, tonight was the first night I ran the freezers um, this many hours without running them at all because they're this place, uh, uh, I, I, thankfully the parking lot's empty, I was able to turn the bus around because there's no way I can make it out the normal entrance, I've got to go out the way I came in or there's no way I'd get out and, uh, but I turned it around so we're good um, the big thing now is um, would the freezers thaw after six and a half hours unplugged and the answer is no, the one freezer's at 15 degrees and the other freezer's at 20 degrees after six hours, so now I know I can sleep at a place and have the freezers not fall, not get above 32 degrees. Um, they definitely got warm, but still frozen. So now I'm sitting out here, 8.30 in the morning, running the engine to run the inverter to get the temperature back down again. And um, then we're going to go have breakfast. <coughs> There's an iron skillet right next door, so we're going to go there. And I will update you guys again as things progress. Uh, obviously, you're watching this all after the fact. You know, after I get there and I process all these videos into a string for you guys to watch. So for you, the next clip will be instant. So stay tuned. Hello, critters. The pickup truck is overheating. It's a uh, hundred and one and climbing here in Arkansas. So even on the level roads, it's just hot. It's just the pickup truck has so much of a load. So we're letting it cool down. We stopped at Nick's here, got some sodas and some fried pickles, and um, we're about to head off again and get on our way. But well, this place is pretty cool. The critters. So I will keep you up to date with what's going on. Still in Arkansas. That's a pretty view. Rest stop is air conditioned, but no seats. That's annoying. <laughs> so here's a map. We already passed Little Rock, and we haven't gotten to Fort Smith yet. Over here, we're about 70 miles away. So. I'd say we're somewhere around here. Some white oak and hunt. That'd be my guess, maybe over here. Somewhere in here. <laughs> my buddy's torturing this bug, but check out the sound he makes. Wow. That's a heck of a noise. Oh, don't hurt him. I'm not hurting him. He's cool looking. He uses his wings to make that noise. Which is pretty darn cool. He looks like he's upset. He's got like a little frown on his face. <laughs> Here, buddy. You pissed them all. Yeah, we're sorry. We didn't want to hurt you. We just wanted to be entertained. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to hurt him. Don't want to hurt you. Alrighty critters, we are on day number five of six. Yes, this is going to take six days. <laughs> uh, we just left a small little inn and RV park, which is nice because they let me plug in the um, bus to keep the freezers cold. Good thing because they won't last six hours at these temperatures. Jesus. We are in Oklahoma. Uh, we stopped about 140 miles from Oklahoma City. I'm now about 100 miles from Oklahoma City. Uh, another eight and a half hours to go, but we are going to stop in Amarillo anyway. Because we clearly can't make nine hours in a day, so we're not even gonna try. We'll stop at Amarillo, get another room, and then do the last three and a half, four hours tomorrow. And go from there. Oklahoma's actually pretty. It's hot as balls, but it's very pretty. 
at least this part, um, 100 miles east of Oklahoma City on I-40. So more to come as we progress. A little view, about 100 miles from Oklahoma City. Definitely got some hills up here. some yum yums here just before we're about a half an hour from Oklahoma City and um, we just left the inn this morning without getting any breakfast and we forgot dinner last night <laughs> so we're hungry <laughs> so we're gonna keep chooching along but we're first we're gonna raid Denny's <laughs> Oklahoma City uh, looks like somebody had a problem uh, that all come from that was grapes or fire or water or something. I, mean, I thought it was going to have more skyscrapers, but just a couple of them over there on the left. You can see there. I'll record more when we go through the center. There we go. This looks like the center of Oklahoma City. Now the cities out here are a little different than the cities at home. They're not big concentrations of population density. Out here, the city's spread out. So Oklahoma City uh, is freaking huge. Like it covers a tremendous amount of ground. So the actual center city part of Oklahoma City doesn't look that dense. That's because the city occupies so much actual physical space. It's pretty cool though. Never been to Oklahoma City, I don't think I have. Probably drove through it at some point. Uh, more to come later. Hey. Oh, wow. He's like embedded in there. What is he? Oh, I think he's still alive. There he was. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. Talk about it being a splat. We are approaching a substantial milestone at this point. We still have two hours of driving to do tonight, and then another four hours of driving to do tomorrow, but we are about to cross through Oklahoma and into the panhandle of Texas, and that will be our second to last state after we drive through six hours of Texas, not six hours, I'm sorry, not even, maybe three hours of Texas, and here we are, this is Texas. We are second to last to home base, to our home state, New Mexico. So, yeah, it feels substantial, like it's really almost over. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Let's hope it's nice and flat. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting done one way or another, I hope. We are now in Texas. We are about an hour and a half from Amarillo. That should be our last layover. We're getting a room there. And then tomorrow, the last four hour drive into our location in New Mexico. Um, we don't have the house yet. We're supposed to close on that Wednesday. Somehow I think they're gonna delay it again. I hope not because I only have my buddy Chris until Friday night because Saturday I gotta take him to the airport. And there are things in this vehicle and trailer that I need to get out that I cannot get out myself. They're, they're not manageable for one person. And my sister can't help me. So I was hoping to you know, at least get his help to empty the trailer and empty the pickup truck. Because with an empty pickup truck and an empty trailer, and just a couple of things taken out of the bus so that I can get into the bus to begin slowly pulling stuff out, I can make it work. So, you know, I have no furniture, so I need the pickup truck and trailer to go get, you know, a couch when I find it, a refrigerator when I find it, a stove when I find it, dressers when I find it, stuff like that. We shall see. We are pulled over right now on the side of the road in Texas. 
they don't really have much in the way of stuff on these exits on this part of the state. There's like nothing. <laughs> so we're going to grab gas at the very next gas station we see because we don't know when the next one's going to be. And um, although I think we both have enough to make it to Amarillo, where there will obviously be gas stations. Um, that's it. I mean, we're this is the home stretch. We're, we're getting there. What I'll find when I get there? I don't know. <laughs> we're going to find out together. That's for sure. <laughs> it's insane. I never should have done this. At least not the way I did it. Uh, I should have... This should be half. I shouldn't. It was so dangerous bringing this much stuff. I don't even want to know what this bus weighs. <laughs> I'm afraid to know what this bus weighs. Nothing's flexing like it should, and it handles great, so maybe I'm just over paranoid. I don't know, but I mean, it's capable of holding 26,000 pounds. You know, it weighs 16,000 pounds, that's 10,000 pounds of capacity, but I don't want to be anywhere near that. Hopefully, I'm not. But, oh, I found another bus. Out there in the field. Maybe we can do like those space movies where we just start joining the buses together to form a big giant bus home somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Groot's holding up even in this ridiculous heat. No deformation. He's holding up great. Um, impressively so, actually. I mean, that's PLA. That's 3D Hero Works, I think. I think it's 3D Hero Works P um, Wood PLA, 20% wood. And, <laughs> I mean, we're talking 108 degrees on the thermometer. <laughs> and it, it, he doesn't care. In the baking sun. And um, the Starbond CA glue, their gap filler and their thin odorless, no sign of letting up because it's two pieces because the I got a clog, so I just resumed the print. And glued the two parts together. And um, we shall see. It's going to be interesting. A fly just crashed into the window. He's trying to get out now. And he hasn't figured out where the opening is. Come on, buddy. Figure out where the opening is. <laughs> he keeps going toward the nearest light spot instead of the, you know, where the wind's actually coming from. There you go. He's out. <laughs> uh Freezers are holding up good. I've either managed to keep them below freezing or find a place to plug it each night. And uh, I'm worried about this last stop because it's hot enough that they won't make it through the night without thawing. So I need to be able to plug them in. So hopefully it won't be a problem because it would suck to have to get up in the middle of the night and come out here and start this thing up just to freeze the freezers. But if I have to, that's what I'll do. So we shall see. Uh, next video clip should be us in Amarillo. I can give you guys these details of where I'm going, what I'm doing, because you're going to be watching this after all this has happened. So I don't have to worry about somebody ambushing me. <laughs> all right, see you in the next clip. Upgrade my bus. It's got a cool rounded top. <laughs> it's just sitting out here, middle of nowhere. It's Interstate 40 just inside Texas. Our little convoy. Actually, that's a good picture. Yeah. It's annoying as hell. I guess this is normal, but there's our vehicles. And my buddy Chris is sleeping in that pickup truck. He refuses to come into the hotel room. He does not want to. He is so concerned about people stealing shit out of these vehicles that he's sleeping out there. And he won't take any other answer. If I could take his place, I would. But if I tried to sleep in a vehicle, I would not be able to complete the drive tomorrow. I'm not skinny and small like he is. But when we get to Moriarty and I get my electric car, I'm going to spend the first night in the car so that he can... Where's my finger? There it is. So that he can come inside and sleep in a freaking bed. That's a real good friend right there. That's a really, really good friend. Apparently he has a darker past that I wasn't aware of and he knows exactly what people are capable of. That's a friend. You creatures, we just left Amarillo, Texas. We are on the final stretch. 
250 miles until we reach Moriarty, 260 to the new house. So I got a hotel in Moriarty. Hopefully we can close in the next day or two. I hope. We'll see what happens. But uh, already the weather is improving. Now it's definitely hot out, but it's actually bearable because the humidity is reasonably low and it's not 103 freaking degrees. <laughs> I don't know what elevation we're at, but I, I think we're at a higher elevation than sea level by quite a bit. Because um, we did a lot of climbing last night, long, gentle climbs as we increased our elevation. If I had to guess, I'd say we were at 2,000, 3,000 feet. I'll have to look up later and see what the elevation of Amarillo, Texas is. But we are now headed toward Albuquerque. So more to come as we arrive. Well, folks, I think this is it. I think we're about to enter New Mexico. I will finally be entering our home state, where we will probably live the rest of our lives. <laughs> so far, it's very pretty. This is still Texas, but out there is New Mexico. I think it's right here. He gets to enter first. <laughs> Welcome to New Mexico, land of enchantment. I should probably stop there, but I don't want to stop. I want to just keep going. <laughs> do another clip probably at the our final gas stop about 100 miles or so one last stop for gas stay tuned freaking view we are 30 minutes away from moriarty so 40 minutes from the house the hotel is in moriarty which is 10 miles from the house but look at this this is why i want to live up here look at how beautiful this is I love this view so much. I don't think this would ever get boring. Hmm. I think I'm gonna love it up here.